the best thing about me. I would have to say that I am a honest person. It's really hard to project the person that people think I am. It really, <laughs> it sucks sometimes and it's, I think it's because, um, you know, I, I'm a freelancer, you know, I work for myself, I'm my own boss. So you have to kind of, you know, you kind of have to watch what you say sometimes. There's certain times where, as honest as I am, there's certain times where I'm like, oh no, keep your mouth shut. It's the one thing even with, you know, being HIV positive that scares me is, and I, you know, even had someone tell me, oh, it'll be the death of your career. I've learned that you can't even put on Facebook or Twitter or anything, oh, I don't feel good or blah, 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 or this or that because I've had clients, so does that mean you're not gonna sh show up to your shoot? It's like, do you know how many people go to work every day not feeling good? For me, you know, 11 p.m. owns me. I mean, that is when it comes down to it. Um, every day I have to make sure that within moments of minutes to, you know, you get a sort of window, but you have to really take it at the same time every day that I have to make sure when I wake up I have to think in my head, okay, what am I doing at 11 p.m.? Everything from you're not hungry, um, the I have never remembered my dreams ever until I started taking my meds. And now I remember and I have the most vivid dreams every day. So it's almost, um, how shall I say it, it's almost tiring going to sleep. They're so vivid that you don't really know when you wake up if you're in reality. It's, you don't know where you are, you're delusional, you, it's, it's, they were, it was the worst period. That week sucked and, um, you know, for me I was, um, super, super dry. Like I couldn't keep enough water down. And the, the one thing um, that thank God I don't have anymore, but it also scares me because my doctor was talking about potentially having to switch my meds, is that I literally thought I was on fire. Like walking around knowing that you feel like you're baking from the inside, like not even like a sunburn, but literally like you're burning up the last bad relationship I had with my ex who ended up committing suicide and killing himself. Um, and really all I know about it is he was an alcoholic. Um, but as far as long drawn out details, I don't know much of that. And I think it's because I don't know that I can't get over it. Even though I had to, in my mind say, I'm not gonna think about it anymore. It's still just always there. Like at least once a month now, if not twice a month, I always think, you know, I wonder. I guess what pisses me off the most is why he didn't call me or why didn't he try and reach out because in all of the madness I mean yes he couldn't reach out to any of probably his friends because I mean the sickest thing ever is they had a fucking bar crawl in his honor so after he passed away I mean don't even get me on that there's many of his friends that I would really like to throw in front of an oncoming bus for that but um that, you know, he, of all people, he should have known that if it was that bad, that if, you know, it was whatever demons he had, you know, I was the one person that wanted him. And I would have, I would have helped him. Now, would I have taken him back? Not probably like that, but I mean, I would have made sure he would have been able to get some help. What do you think people stay in bad relationships? 
for me, I wish I knew because then <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't would not be in bad relationships anymore, and that would be fabulous because you know it's really funny, not really funny, but no one wants to be in a bad relationship, but mm. I seem to like fall in them all the time. I wonder what I would even act like in a really good relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do. Would I even know? <laughs> like, would I I'm doing it now, and it's, um... Like, would I even know, like, when you... You would act scared all the time. In, well, inside, I'm constantly challenged. So I wasn't happy when I was being treated like shit. I'm not happy when I'm being treated well. Mm -hmm. The fuck's wrong with me? I know, right? And then I think that's why probably I gravitate towards bad relationships. It's just, it's probably what I'm used to and it's subconscious. But why does everyone want to partner up? Why do we want to be in love, do you think? For me, it's no one, or at least for me, I don't want to be alone. Like, I don't want to be, you know, whether it's 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, I don't really want to live longer than 80. I don't want to be that really, really old gay guy. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't want to be alone. For me, I know someone's my friend when I'm allowed to have a difference of an opinion and it's still cool. Mm. Like, that to me, I think rule number one is when you know that it's a good friendship and that it's it's genuine and true because to be honest with you i don't want all my friends to eat drink and sleep the world of terry and <laughs> you know and agree with everything i don't either because the world of jd is not it's not pretty crazy it's not so, pretty so you know but you know what i mean it's, what i do i don't want to be around people that a hundred percent of the time are on the same page yeah. that i am because there's no moving forward when it's like that you know, and I think a friendship, a strong friendship is when, like even me and you, mm -hmm. we don't have to agree on the same thing. No. And we can talk about something like we were at mm -hmm. the one bar talking about, you know, HDR and mm -hmm. this and what is art, what is photography. And if I don't like what you say. Yeah, it's not, I'm not going to not. It's not like I'm like, not, girl. Right. You know, never, like, yeah. It's like <laughs> that's what you think. But it's a very narrow-minded approach, and you don't learn anything. I'm sometimes my own worst enemy, to where I sort of need people to tell me that I'm good. I need people to tell me, "Oh, you did a really good job. You, you're amazing. You do this." Because in a lot of cases, I don't tell myself that. Because even when I'm out taking photos, like every photo shoot I go on, I instantly sometimes not all the times but i always look at my photos and go oh oh, oh i do that every you time. know like oh every time and then you know then i get them done and you know love them and mm -hmm. it's just that first reaction is oh i'm not who who do i think i am and then the clients will always say to me oh my god these are amazing and you're like oh okay i honestly i don't think i'm the best person out there and I know I'm not the best person out there, but I do what I do, and people like what I do. Most important, I mean, art is so important because I think it's the basis of knowing how to reason, how to be more educated, as well as getting through daily life. I mean, you know, I honestly also think what's so bad with a lot of culture is kids are not exposed to art nowadays and because of that i think it, it we're breeding a bunch of i don't want to say little monsters but you know art can save a life and has saved so many lives i mean it saved mine i mean if i wasn't in a creative field i honestly don't know where i would be at this moment everything has changed words come from the page of a answer this because right now like it's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful in you know 
what's to come and that kind of stuff but in many ways I am at the also at the point where I just don't know anymore like I'm trying to refigure out a lot of things and um, hopefully <laughs> out of this I will figure it out like everything from relationships to friendships to dating to how I'm gonna live all of that I just I just don't know like hope to me is I think it's because it's that buzzword mm -hmm. I don't think it has any value as a word when I when you say freedom I think like you know outside waving the American flag and all that kind of stuff but for you know I also for me realize that none of us are really free mm -hmm. I mean nothing nothing is free and people are delusional if if they think that shit is true. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's always a price for something. And, um, but for me to be free or is basically to work for myself. I mean, that is my true freedom to be able to um, say yes to a client, to decline a client. I mean, that's the best freedom anyone can ask for is when you turn down work because you know that that's not the right thing for you. I think I would call myself spiritual because I believe that there's a higher power, but I'm not really sure what that higher power is anymore. Like my dad's side of the family, which was the kind of Catholics where women weren't even allowed to take communion. And um, yeah, that's a true story. It's still like that. Like all the men go up to communion first, and if there's shit left over, then the women can go up and they get like sloppy seconds of the shit. And, you know, they're not allowed on the altar. So I also have that background of seeing, to me, that it's not really what I want to believe in. But to young Terry Johnston, I would probably, it's funny because I would want to sit him down and probably shake him. You know, I don't even want to say if I would give the advice of, you know, safe sex or depression that I fight with and all that kind of stuff because when I'm in those moments I don't even know I'm in those moments so I, it wouldn't even pay to give someone advice but I think I would say just be truer to yourself there's been a lot of um compromises that I think um I've done in the past that I don't do anymore that if I would have not if I would have learned not to do that, um, I probably would be farther than I am today. I've learned the, the biggest thing is um, never apologize for what you're good at. And, you know, unfortunately that that's gonna piss a lot of people off. It's gonna ruin a lot of friendships or potential friendships, but never, you know, and don't be cocky about it, but if you have a talent that's your talent and just you know go with it and you know i had you know i've learned that that that's true i also know um that sometimes um less is more it really is you know you don't have to have a bunch of friends to be happy uh -huh.